Hey guys, Johnny here, back with a brand new COD Mobile video today. Some COD Mobile news. We are having a new update in about four days. Wednesday, 5 p.m. Pacific is the scheduled update for Global. And we're getting more and more teasers every day, multiple times a day also. We're getting some stuff on the social medias, the official accounts for COD Mobile and COD Mobile Garena. So we're gonna look into it today. There's been a few in the past couple of days. We're gonna group everything together and see what's up with season 11, but also the anniversary event. So let's get started. And that is in-game. It's on the global version, so it is happening on global. Are you guys ready or what? Smash like if you are, but I'm excited for the new update. I do talk about it every day on stream. I'm excited for the update. I'm excited for season 11, but also the rank reset and everything that's gonna happen. So there's two things. First of all is the new season, but also is the anniversary of COD Mobile. So new map, King. Now we do have a little spoiler on Twitter. This is the official Play COD Mobile account. And first look, first impression, it does remind me a little bit of Kill House. It is inside a hangar. So you see the roof, very similar to Kill House. Uh, some buildings, plywoods and stuff. Uh, again, a structure in the middle and some stuff on both sides like inside kill house so maybe if you play battle royale uh maybe it reminds you of some buildings we've seen in br also anyways it's called king brand new map coming with the update and once again is it gonna be as soon as the update launch or is it gonna be later because you know guys usually every season they release a little bit of stuff or a little bit of content every week every thursday so they usually don't release everything at once but anyways, the new map looking really cool. Another small map, so it's gonna be interesting for sure. And then there's a, just a screenshot of the map. Check out the official uh, COD Mobile Twitter if you wanna see more or take a closer look at the new King map. Now they also announced a new game mode called Cranked. There was a lot of memes on Cranked on Reddit, but I don't know if you guys saw the movie. The guy always have to have high adrenaline or he's gonna die. Uh, crank game mode is gonna be similar. You have to play some TDM. It's a team game and you need to get a kill every 30 seconds If you don't get a kill you die and I'm gonna think if you die it gives a point to the other team So not only you have to get kills But if you don't like you're gonna give a point to the other team You cannot really camp and be patient in the corner with that game mode. It's gonna Generate a lot of action. It should be interesting for sure now. Of course we are having a cut anniversary event i'm thinking it's going to be like seasonal events where you can grind and unlock stuff and you see on the right side of the merc skin it says party like it's 2021 and i'm guessing maybe it's gonna be the stuff you're gonna unlock through seasonal events you see two new soldiers i'm thinking it's salazar correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but i think the name is salazar uh, it's a brand new skin with neon colors and another Outrider uh, Soldier skin, it's a pretty popular one. We have a few variations now. Some new weapons we're gonna see later, a new perk and a new score streak. Now that score streak has been spoiled today. There's been a teaser on Twitter also. Now that new score streak is called Advanced UAV. It's pretty expensive and it reminds me a lot of the SR-71 Blackbird we had in Black Ops 1 because you see your enemies as triangle instead of dots. So two things with the advanced UAV. First of all, it's gonna sweep the minimap more often, more frequently, so it's more accurate. Because of the old UAV, uh, if it doesn't sweep often, where you see the dot is not maybe still there, it's not so accurate, because the opponent is moving, right? Well, with the advanced UAV, not only you see it more accurately, but also you see uh, the direction your enemy is facing. So you're not gonna come face to face you can flank him and shoot him in the back because you know he's looking the other way. So if someone's camping and looking at the door, you know he's looking at the door because of that. Now, this is not the SR-71 Blackbird. The difference, I did a bit of research, but the SR-71 Blackbird, you cannot shoot and you cannot see. The Advanced UAV, you can see and you can shoot down. So is it that good? Like, it, it can be shut down. And it's pretty expensive, just a little cheaper than a VTOL. Well, sometimes it's gonna make the difference between having and not having your VTOL. When you see your opponents and you see the direction they're facing, you're gonna get these last couple kills. And I know in Black Ops 1, people were using the Blackbird just to get their dog score streak. So are we gonna get dogs in this game? That would be freaking epic. Dogs is an epic score streak in the COD uh, games in the past. So anyways, it's not the Blackbird. 
it's advanced UAV, it's already in other games. And the big question is, is it gonna spot your ghost enemies? Like if they're using the ghost perk or not? Uh, I know in some games it depends on their distance. So anyways, we're gonna see when it comes out. I guess we're gonna have to test it to see how good it is. Is it worth running it? Because again, it's pretty expensive for a UAV. Now, next thing I wanna look at is a meme on Reddit. Because we had a spoiler for the season pass and it says expectation versus reality. Uh, I did post a video about these skins, the top image, what we expected for season 11 battle pass. There was a little video and ad for uh, the new update. Now, in that one, they revealed five new skins, including the ghost character, uh, the Raiden guy, a new Reaper, and some Harley Quinn clown soldiers. So it is exciting, they did look pretty good, but apparently they are not gonna be the season pass characters as we kinda thought it would be. Now, they did reveal 4-in-1 Battle Pass, brand new Battle Pass coming in Season 11, and they show the four skins that will be on the Season Pass. Now, these four characters, uh, we're gonna check a post on Reddit, but someone did spot these skins from previous uh, COD games, and we have a better look at them. So check out this post on Reddit, shout out to VMVivek007, posting the four characters on the Battle Pass. The first one, we already knew it was gonna be Scylla, because we did see the other artwork earlier today. Now the second one would be Zero from Black Ops 3. Uh, Reaper Invader is the third one and Spectre the last one. So if you guys uh, want a better look, check out Reddit right now. It's on the top of the Reddit so you can find it pretty easy. Now something pretty crazy posted also earlier today on the official Cod Mobile Twitter. Supposedly we're gonna have a new rarity in the game. Rarer than Legendary is gonna be maybe a red color. So people think maybe Mythic or Mystic, we're gonna see. But also um, a reveal of a new weapon coming in the game. A lot of you guys say it's the Vector. Maybe it's got a different name in other COD games. But it is pretty obvious according to all the viewers. Everyone said Vector in the chat. So let me know if you guys think it's gonna be called Vector or another name for it. But definitely a new rarity. And now the big question out there is what's gonna happen to that because Already the legendaries you have to buy through Lucky Draw is very expensive, a hundred plus dollars US to get one legendary gun. Now, if they add a new rarity, what is it gonna be? Is it gonna be another one that you have to buy or is it something super rare that you have to grind to get? Uh, again, it's gonna be a surprise. We don't know yet what they plan to do with that, but it's really exciting to have new stuff no matter what. Cannot wait to find out. Now finally, that's the artwork for the new Scylla character and the three weapons that you see on the roadmap uh, on the global version. So a new AK-117, some guys were disappointed. A new QQ-9 though, and that one looks very, very cool. And finally, a KRM-262, my favorite shotgun in the game. Point and click is the name, so three new skins. Probably grindable skins through event for the anniversary update. Gonna have to wait and find out once again. Coming soon in four days, Wednesday night is the scheduled update now is the season gonna start thursday or is it gonna start wednesday night also again i uh, still have a few questions guys the update is coming soon and i guess we'll just answer all the question when it happens some guys are impatient to see what's gonna happen and i'm really hyped myself cannot wait so guys that's gonna be it for today hope you enjoyed the video smash like if you did don't forget to subscribe for daily comable videos i will see you guys in the next one take care